Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new week of comics, and out this week is a fairly interesting book. This is the art of, uh, the Marvel art of Chris, I think, Bachelot or Bacala? I think Bachelot. Um, it collects his uh, 30 years, almost 30 years of drawing for Marvel. Uh, really interesting art book, and, and Marvel's starting to put out some art books. I think it's the second one. Art Adams, I think, was the previous one. I don't know if the Art Adam one's out yet. I have it over here. Um, but this is, I think, a really fascinating comic, in, or not really a comic book collection, is that it goes through Chris's history with Marvel uh, over the three decades. It breaks them up kind of through decades. But where I really, really like this is um, one, it, it comes off very sincere and um, and honest in that it really feels like he's the one putting this together, not someone else. Um, the other thing that I really enjoy about this is that it has a lot of uh, personal anecdotes uh, about his history with Marvel, like how he got on the series, uh, what was going on at Marvel at the time. Like It, it talks about like Marvel's bankruptcy a little bit, um, how he got... Uh, started with Marvel, uh, and I personally think that is some of the most fascinating stuff out there. Like it does, this does not feel like someone else put together a curation and uh, he maybe signed off on it. It really does feel like he went through, picked the pieces that he felt was important, and then uh, discusses them and, and talks about why they're important. So, um, as far as like an art book, I think Julian is really, really solid and really interested, uh, interesting in that way. Um, and, you know, it's not all necessarily, like, great. Like, there's just... It just feels like a very honest vibe about it. Um, and he kind of goes into stuff. So, like, this is an example of, like, Generation X number 17, works with Scott Lodell. He gives... I think what's also great is that it gives credit for what people did. So, like, Chris did the pencils, and then it's got Mark Buckingham as the inks, colors by Steve uh, Bucciolato, and it tells you when this came out. So it gives credit for everybody, which I think is really, really neat. When it talks about like Generation X seventeen, it says Scott I worked Scott and I worked Marvel style. St Scott gave me a loose plot and I draw the book and he had dialogue uh, to suit. Gen X number seventeen was my first issue back after death, the time of your life, and I was looking for a fresh take on presenting the story. All the Marvel books at the time opened with Stan Lee presents, knowing that Scott's story took place at an abandoned circus. I thought it would be cool if I uh, brought Stan to life as a remaster to host the book. Scott knew Stan and pitched the idea of having him break his own lines. He was kind enough to join us. It was just perfect. Like, that's actually a really kind of cool piece of history that I wouldn't have known otherwise. Um, just to add in the fact that like the art is amazing. This is some some of the stuff, like my favorite time of Marvel. Like I loved this work. This was uh, kind of towards the end before I took some uh, a break of uh of reading comics just kind of couldn't afford them um which was like 2000 something but you get like you just get some really cool great looking art and i think that's really neat i mean there's something that i think clicks so well with this book as it really comes down to it like it really does feel like there's just an honesty about it that i think is really neat and lacking in other uh, art books that I've read. Like, other art books feel very, um, cold and kind of, like, you know, just disinfected in a way. Like, the, the life of it's kind of taken out of it, but this really does feel, uh, special and honest and, and has a lot of life to it. Like, this is, it's cool. This is really, really neat. I love the fact that Marvel's doing this. It looks like they're doing with pop art productions. Um, so yeah, I mean, like if you are into this art, if you are into kind of art books in general, this is something that's great to have put on a, a coffee table and, and show off. Uh, so it's out this weekend in comic shops. Should be out soon in bookstores. Go support your comic shop. Um, this is neat. This is one for the art lovers. Uh, you can go uh, put a link. Uh, there's a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links there. Affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that, but. Really, you should go support your comic shop. And speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for us up with this review copy. We appreciate it. And this is this is really cool. This is some great art and some great history. And I love checking out stuff like this. Um, if you're into Marvel, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics, keep loving the art, and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.